Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Jay here, and welcome back to the first Alternative Friday on my channel. After this week, it will be continuously posted of me doing several Alternative Fridays, so you guys can look forward to that. So for the very first Alternative Friday, I'm going to be checking out an artist that has been so requested on my channel. This artist is Florence plus the machine. Um, now I've heard of her a lot and I think I've heard like a song that she has with Calvin Harris called Sweet Nothing. I think that's by her. So um, this is her album Ceremonials. You guys were requesting this on Twitter, on Instagram, on everything. So we are going to be checking out this album today. Um, so I'm not going to ramble too much, so let's just play that intro. So the very first song on this album is titled Only If For A Night. And I do think that the artist Rihanna did sample this on her album. I forgot which song it was, but I do remember it like being a Florence plus the Machine sample. Let's hop right into it. This song, All Year For A Night, what a way to open this album ceremonials. Like this, it's just making me feel so strengthened and powerful. Like bitch, International Women's Month, bitch. I just wanna like, just go to a motherfucking parade and just, just, you know, just be extra because who's gonna beat my ass? Um, so this song, All Year For A Night, I really like how it's like really anticlimactic and it's just really like, it's just giving me just, you know, power. Like bitch, just, you're just marching and you're just... So the next song is Shake It Out. Regards collect like old friends Here to relive your darkest moment It's always darkest before the I did not know Florence plus the machine. Who's the machine? Anyways, I did not know Florence had the range like that. Like she really, like girl, I was not expecting her to be emoting like that. Like girl, she can sing. Like I'm, this album probably has so many surprises that I'm not ready for. So the next song is What the Water Gave Me. I love music like this, like I don't know how to describe it, but indie? Yeah. 
was quite the adventure and it's a song that I've been waiting like it's a song that like I would want to play like while I'm doing a late night drive or just you know driving around the city it just has so many vibes to it and I'm, I'm really liking this album so far only being three tracks and I'm loving it especially this song what the water gave me it's probably definitely one of my favorites that I've heard so far out of the three tracks but you know I'm not gonna speak too soon because every time I do there always comes another track that's way better so bitch let me just shut up so the next song is never let me go really a slow track on the album like I was not expecting to be emotionally swept like that by her vocals like the whole vibe and the whole sound of this is just so soundtrack vibes to me and I'm so here for it like, so the next song is breaking down <laughs> down it's really a cute moment on this album because it's really it's upbeat and it's, it's it sounds really happy and like it just makes you want to like dance like I literally want to dance listening to this song because the way the production is like it was kind of low-key remind me of like some sims music like I open up that create a sim and create a sim and like this I would hear this playing in the background but nonetheless it is a bop so the next song is lover to lover like it vocally but production wise it might be my least favorite out of every song that I've heard so far I don't know it's just something about the production that I it's not really catching my attention so this is definitely a song that I would skip on this album no shade so the next song is no light no light I mean I really love her voice because like it's just so powerful like it just makes me bitch like I can just Boring! 
Girl, you better go the fuck off, Florence. Girl, okay, let me see out right now. This girl, Florence, she just has vocals for days in her lyrics. I'm gonna be completely honest. I have no idea what this song is about, but I am later going to look into the lyrics because half of the time I'm just drenched and I'm just, you know, I'm like dozing off into how amazing this production is. So excuse me for that, girl. It's Florence's fault because her productions are really the highlights of her songs because it's just really... I just like the way it sounds, like, I don't know, I think she's alternative, but she's really giving me indie in a way, because it's really kind of like, it's not, it's not dark alternative, it's more alternative, alternative, but it's more so like on the indie side. So the next song is Seven Devils. So this song, Seven Devils, it really makes me just want to grab a bat and just, just fuck shit up. I don't know, but it just makes me feel so badass and edgy listening to this. I don't know why. I'm extra as fuck. Don't ask me why. But no, like seriously, the production on this is just something about it. And then her voice, like, girl, she really be hitting those notes. Like, I love how powerful her voice is. Like, after this, I'm literally going to have to look into these lyrics and see what the what some of these songs mean because this title alone sounds really interesting. So the next song is Heartlines. Okay. Heartlines, like I said, I really love the chorus and the bridge, but maybe the verses will have to grow on me because I'm really not feeling them on first list and like they're just there for me. Like I was I was waiting for that chorus to kick in because I knew she was really gonna give me some powerhouse vocals and just fuck it up with that roaring loud production girl. You y'all feel me? Bitch, I got a new phone. What's up, y'all? You see my new phone? Like girl, who's fucking with it? Girl got the iPhone 8 plus. I need to Google these lyrics. You know, I'm gonna just Google her album ceremony. Only if for a night. So the next song is Spectrum. <laughs>
Tiz got the range. Beautiful. Is that like one of those things? I forgot what they're called, but they're like really tall and like people play them while they're sitting down and they're like Bitch. So production she did that lyrically she did that vocals she did that Florence in the machine She is that no, but seriously like we are towards the end of this album And I just want to say that I was not expecting to be this, you know Slayed by Florence plus the machine. I mean, I've heard of her but, um, like I said, I never actually took the time to listen to her, and I'm so glad that I did today because I am seeing a new artist that I could potentially get into. And, you know, y'all never know. Like, this is why I love doing reactions. Because So the next song is All This in Heaven too. Like in a good way like I just had so many imagination scenarios in my head So this song all this in heaven too first of all the, the title bitch that might be my new Instagram caption or any Instagram You know for a photo because that's a really cute title all this in heaven too Like this song probably has a really cute meaning behind it and like I said I literally have it right here I'm going to look into the meanings of all these songs after this because I'm really intrigued So the final and last song on this album is leave my body Gonna be released from my heart is love That's how you do that, girl. That's how you captivate my attention. Now I'm ready to hear the rest of her discography and to see what else she has in her in her catalog. Like I want to hear the rest of her music. Anyways, this song "Leave My Body." I think that it was a great choice for it being the closing track. It really closed the album off on a strong note, and you know that's really good with albums. Like you want to have that last song that really like I feel like all artists should do that. Like if you're gonna put a last, your last song should be the song that really just fucks me up, and this song really fucks me up. Um, but anyways, like I said, this album has me one to see the rest of her catalog so if you guys want me to react to another one of her albums any of her music videos please comment that down below because as you guys know fridays are now alternative fridays in honor of queen lana del rey her impact girl wig well, anyways this is florence plus the machine what i think of this album is a really good album um there's probably like one track that i really wasn't feeling but i mean i feel like as if this album will really grow on I me. Mean, I'm going to continue to listen to it and just listen to it more and more. Bye, I love you guys. I don't know how not to fuck this up. Oh.